Hello everybody, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy and today our expert trainer will be talking about Terraform modules that includes building reusable code for infrastructure. So let's get into the video. So if, we, if I want to call module, then it is a collection of or say set of configuration files in the single directory. And the same thing we were doing it from day one. We were creating one directory and we were keep putting over all the configuration files as per our requirement the variable.tf the main.tf the provider.tf and maybe more uh, input output.tf what all files are there we were putting in that in the single directory and then we were executing our terraform code now within that directory if you create one more directory and say and create another uh, you know say the main.tf and the variable.tf or so then that is known as the module so under main module if you create further directories and you put all the files then it is known as the module okay but it is not just keeping the files we need to also consider the logic that okay what input it is going to take and what is the output we want so that is known as the module so in modules in module directory you are going to have multiple configuration files same as your root configuration files now another thing is you can invoke uh, modules from anywhere okay within your code you can have the child modules as well okay say a module is there within that one more module and that module is calling another module so all those values and activities can happen within the module so like right say you know i can write one module of creating my network another module i can create of creating the subnet right now subnet module has got the dependency of module network which is basically should be it should be giving the id because subnet cannot be created without the network so that way that all dependencies are there you can call multiple modules you can call you you can have multiple child modules everything you can have it according to your requirement so if you see here what is why you should use module the first and foremost is you are organizing your configuration file right for that if i say go to a simple example here okay see i am using one two three four five resources okay and i might and these all resources have got multiple attributes okay which might be required okay attributes in the sense the properties vpc properties right there can be multiple things there now i can go ahead and make the changes and write everything in another say the the tf configuration files and keep it but will that be solving my purpose? Okay, I can have everything in the separate file instead of writing 3000 or 5000 line of code and then searching for, uh, you know, that where you need to make changes or what needs to be done. It will be easy if I have a separate configuration file for each. Like, say, my VPC have got one configuration file for Internet Gateway, I have got one file for routing table, I have got one file for subnet, I have got one file. So, I'm creating multiple configuration files. So, that is going to solve my purpose. But understand that thing that if somebody wants to implement the entire project where it has got networks, it has got storage it has got ec2 instances it has got load balancer it has got database servers what not it has high availability primary secondary many things now how many files i'm going to create right say one for the primary then one for the secondary then for the network everything for the primary and the secondary i need to do it so that is i am repeating the same thing multiple times so that is again becomes tough to manage of uh, you know say if i am having say 150 or 200 or 300 files still it will be tough to manage so in that way what we can do is we can go ahead and create the module which follows the dry principle so dry is don't repeat yourself based on that principle you are going to have the code reusability and you can write a code which is easy to understand easy to troubleshoot can handle multiple input like you can have uh, you can get multiple outputs from that depending on what you want and you can set everything in place so that is basically known as the module creation so if you see here what we are creating here is say this terraform dynamic the this is basically the folder we create and that is known as the root direct and then in that you have got configuration file right this is known as the root module then 
what we can do is we can create the modules accordingly okay so maybe you might not be able to visualize it in the in the way right now when i'm explaining it but let's go ahead and have one simple example where we are going to create one ec2 instance using the module so right now we have created the ec2 instances in that way now with the module i will show you how modules can help you to get multiple inputs multiple output and how you can call that in multiple at multiple places okay so yeah so this is basically my root directory in that you can see multiple configuration files are there now in that i can go ahead and create a module okay here only i will go ahead and create the module directory which further can have multiple files so that that can have the okay so here if you see i have the root module and i have created the aws instance which is say my child module this will be in the module and here i have got the main file so you can see here now my main file is just having few lines nothing else maybe it might have only this thing because this we usually keep it in the provider.tf so this is my root module okay in a single file i am having it and this is i have bifurcated the same thing into two module so now i have written the module separately and i am now calling with the module here now don't worry about it if you are not able to understand i'm going to explain you about each and every syntax into then example now here you can see how it is going to be so let me create so see here i am creating a root directory like whatever we create here that is known as right so if you see here this mod directory usually we start with that right now this directory is known as the root directory okay in that what we do in that we just go ahead and copy this right so we create this provider file that is our starting point for writing the code right now in that let's go ahead and say that i want to create the ec2 instance okay the one way of creating the ec2 instances that is what we have we did it right away right we just go ahead and create this resource and everything here and we just run it and it has spawned the ec2 instance in our uh, aws console right now the same thing i am going to do but here what i am going to do is i will go ahead into this root directory and will create one more directory which i will say as module okay now in this module okay right now say i want just only one module but say if in future if i want more so i just go ahead and create one ec2 as well ec2 directory so my all the modules say my program is having say multiple modules so that will be under the module directory now i in that i just have created one more directory as ec2 now this ec2 is going to have the main.tf and this might be having variable.tf so this is my provider and then here this is my module subdirectory in which ec2 is there and in that i have got main.tf and variable dot okay so if i say go here and let me see if i can make a tree here yeah if you see here this is my module and in that i have got ec2 directory which has now under all these things you will be having the sub direct uh, the configuration files so my ec2 will have its own configuration file my main directory or say the root directory which is there it has got its own set of configuration files right now what i am going to do here is okay in my terraform module okay so i go ahead here and say resource aws instance and say it is app server and then i will give my ami let's give the same ami here and let me define as my instance underscore type let's go in the simple way right now yes uh, t2 dot small okay that that's it i don't want anything else so this is the simple thing which i can even go ahead and you know put it in the root module but i just want to show you like how you can write down the module and invoke that in variables right now i am not putting any variable maybe at the later stage you will just <clears throat> you know uh, make this code more uh, robust okay so right now if you see here i have just write, written the same thing which i have used used to write in the root module but this time the change which i did is i have created a module directory in that the ec2 and in that ec2 i am going to have all my configuration files okay now here i have the provider.tf 
Okay, now what I am going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to write one main.tf file. Okay, now in this main.tf, I will say I'm going to create, you know, call that module as here, like this. So I will be calling this module with my name. Okay, that can be anything. Say I say EC2 primary. Say my primary instance is this and I'm calling it. Now for the module, what you need to have is you need to make sure that you are mentioning the source of that module. Okay, that where that module is located. Okay, you want to use that module, but you need to give the location that where that module is located. In our case, where it is located, it is located in the same our directory, but in the separate directory, right? Within the same directory, but there is a separate directory. So this is important parameter and mandatory too for the soul uh, for the modules. So here it is basically going to be in the so uh, module and EC2. That's it. So for the module, you are just calling it with the name you want. Okay, say EC2 primary and you are giving that which module it should locate the EC2 where you have created EC2. Right now what we will and this is our code done. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I am right now will show you that I'm going to initialize what we usually do first is initialize your code. And if you see the first thing it is doing is initializing the module which module the EC2 primary. This is important. What initialization Terraform and it does is if any module is there, it is going to initialize the module first and then it is going to initialize the backend. Backend we know that where our state file exists, right? And then it is going to, uh, you know, initialize the plugin, download it, whatever you have mentioned according to that, will download it and install the same. But first thing here is it is doing the initialization of module. Which module the which primary I have defined it in my code in my configuration file and I have given the source so it has now initialized that module and here what we are going to do is terraform plan. So what does that mean is right now I am invoking I am creating one EC2 instance which is going to create with uh, uh, here of t2 small. So here we can go ahead and see this is of t2 small. Right now you can come and ask me that what's the big deal here? The same thing I was doing it within the single file, you have make it more complicated. And then I will say that fine, agree with you that this is. Uh, you know the simple thing which you can write it in the main module as well or say the root module as well and do it now if i say that okay create create 100 instance which is of 20 are of size t2 small 25 are of size t2 large and rest are all t2 extra large Still, you can do the copy paste and can come back in an hour or so and say that, okay, yeah, this is the code. But you can see that what you are going to give me without the module is 500 lines of code or maybe 1000. And tomorrow, if I say that, okay, I want to remove five instances, which is of, say, two of uh, uh, extra large and three of different sizes. Then you are going to see everything code and then again you will take one hour and come back to me. Right, but here the thing is we are not doing the things efficiently. We are basically rewriting and doing the same thing again and again. Okay, now if I say a simple another thing here we are going to do is if I want to have my standby instance, say EC2 secondary, that's it. So now the same module is called twice. Okay, and it is going to create two instances. But when you are doing that, 
again you need to initialize it once because you are again calling the module you have make the changes in the code to call call the module so it is see here ec2 secondary is initialized because you need to have an initialization of the module and if you see here it is going to add two instances now the same example which i have asked you that okay i need to have 25 instance of size t2 small you can call the same instance 25 same module 25 times right and from uh, terraform.13 what you can do is you can use the count variable as well into the modules and it is going to run it for you earlier it was not uh, supported but now it is all supported so you can even say 25 count equal to 25 then write another module of size t2 dot large and say count equal to 50 so with three modules you can do everything and within 15 minutes now you can come back to me and say that okay it's done you can run the code and can spawn 100 instances and tomorrow if i ask you to delete the instances then you just have to reduce the count okay maybe verbally it goes like that but practically it will not because you might need to uh, get go through the id so guys i hope you really liked our session if you are somebody who is completely new and you want to study the exam content from start to finish then please check out our free class at k21academy.com forward slash terraform02 and this free class will be covering a lot of topics like cloud and devops overview cloud automation tools terraform cloud formation ansible chef puppet infrastructure automation iac terraform for beginners what why and who should be learning terraform certification extending terraform with ansible chef puppet etc we'll be giving you a demo of vm deployment in aws cloud using terraform and the best part is we'll be covering a lot of job opportunities and how you can get better pay in your terraform job so all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash terraform02 and click on book your free seat now select your event date when you're you're available moving ahead add your name your email address your phone number and click on yes proceed ahead now you'll be seeing this kind of link at the extreme right save this link Add it to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, take care and keep learning.